There is disruption on the roads and railways today after Storm Garrett battered many parts of the UK. Scotland's badly affected. Dozens of houses in Greater Manchester are damaged by what people, police are calling a localised tornado. Engineers in the north of Scotland are working to reconnect up to 16,000 properties which lost power. Some residents being warned they may be cut off for 48 hours. Una Anger has the latest. Storm Gerrit swept across much of Scotland, bringing heavy snow, flooding homes, causing power cuts and travel misery for many. The major A9 route has reopened after it closed in the Highlands for several hours. Meanwhile, thousands of homes across Scotland have suffered power cuts. Scottish and Southern Electricity Networks said they'd restored power to more than 25,000 homes, but at least 16,000 are still cut off. For some customers, especially those in rural areas, it could be up until Friday before power supplies are reconnected, but it is far too early for us to say at the moment, with Storm Garrett continuing to cause damage to the power network. On the railways, LNER, which runs services up the east coast from London to Scotland, is warning of major disruption this morning, with some services arriving several hours late. This tree fell on the line at Dumbarton but has now been cleared. In bowling, the lines were flooded. Customers stranded by the disruption were told to book hotels which they can claim back. The West Coast has also been badly affected. Avanti West Coast said its route to Scotland was impassable. It stopped services north of Preston yesterday and put on coaches. This couple got stuck in Preston after getting on a train at Euston. We're supposed to go all the way through to Glasgow, but unfortunately we're here. My granddaughter's birthday tomorrow, so I need to get up there. There was widespread flooding. This was Cooper in Fife. And in the north of England, there was significant damage to homes across Staley Bridge after what Greater Manchester Police called a localised tornado. Trees and walls came down in what police described as a major incident. Oh! 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 Air travel has been affected too, with these American Airlines passengers experiencing a particularly bumpy landing at Heathrow. Other flights had to be cancelled. And the RNLI is urging people visiting coastal areas to be careful along exposed cliffs, seafronts and piers. Aruna Iyengar, BBC News. BBC Radio Manchester's Richard Stead is in Staley Bridge, which was one of the areas badly damaged by high winds last night. Richard, good to see you. Oh, look, you're out there and it is miserable, I can tell. But um, I think it's probably a lot more miserable for people whose homes are damaged or, if, you know, if they've got connection problems now. Well, absolutely. I'm in the village of uh, Millbrook, just uh, up from uh, Staley Bridge. And as you can see, there's a tree that's come, come down behind me. There's uh, dozens and dozens of homes all surrounding me with uh, slates that have been blown off the roof, all in their front garden. Uh, there's twigs, branches across every single road around here. You can feel them crunching underneath your feet as you walk around. I've been speaking to dog walkers already this morning who've described uh, the devastation. Uh, conservatories smashed uh, damage to people's cars with the roof tiles coming onto the roofs as well. It happened at about half past 11 last night. It's been described as a tornado that swept down the valley uh, up from the Peak District moors behind me, down Huddersfield Road towards Staley Bridge. Noise, it's been described like a freight train that's been rattling outside someone's houses. And the devastation is everywhere in the surrounding villages around Carbrook, Millbrook, and Staley Bridge, right down Huddersfield Road. Something completely extraordinary. Police have described it as a freak weather condition. Thankfully, though, no reports of any injuries. Um, yeah, thankfully. Richard, how much longer, how long have residents been told they need to wait for things to be returned to normal, for the roads to be cleared, the emergency services to, to get, get to that area? Well, residents have been evacuated from the homes up from the, the next uh, village up, up the valley of Carbrook. They're at, now at Duckenfield Town Hall in central Tameside. That's towards the east side of Manchester. So they're being cared for there by Tameside Council. Uh, as for local people here, well, the clean operation up operation is beginning now. It's just got it's just got daylight now. So people are clearing up the slates, all the twigs, all the mess that's been left behind, all the debris that's strewn across the streets. And uh, the clean operation is going to continue, I'm sure, for the rest of this day. 
Richard, thanks very much for bringing us up to date um, with what's happening there. And of course, Matt will bring us an update on what the weather holds for us today and the coming days.